What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Weekly Bracket. It's your boy, Banjo. Chaos Overdrive. And this is the Weekly Bracket, man. This is the weekly source for you to get your information about your local weeklies that are popping off in Houston, man. And this is the, you got to come to these. You got to come to these, and we're going to keep pushing until you all come to these. So let's get into the calendar right, man, man, right now, man. Let's not waste any time, bro. So first off, Tuesday, you already know what it is. It's the cloud. HTX. And they'll be playing Tekken 7 and Dragon Ball just like they have been. Word. 3.30 is when the casuals start. But uh, moving on to uh, 7 p.m., if it's not so casual and a lot more competitive, depending on what game it is. Hey, they ready we, to go. We ready to go, man. We're going to win the tournament, baby. So you already know what it is. Tuesdays at the Cloud ATX. Uh, Miko uh, will may or may not be joining us. You know, he still might be, you know, recovering. Really from the effects of the tournament over the weekend. So. Of CTO, they had mad karaoke. So I'm pretty <laughs> sure I, I would be tired too. Worn man. out. I'm telling you. But moving on from the Cloud, of course, it's uh, Houston, Winburn Texas' Wednesdays. baby. Yeah, the, it's the baby, bro. Winburn Wednesdays, baby. You know, we're still back at it with uh, Project M, Tekken 7, and Dragon Ball as well. Uh, come out, get some good-ass food, some good-ass fries. And some good-ass Tekken. My man, segue to that clean. <laughs> clean, dude. You get some good-ass Tekken going on, man. Windburn Wednesdays, bro. $3 venue, $2 entry. Come on down, dog. It's a good time. It's a real good time. And the fun don't stop. Thursday. Coral Sword. Coral Sword. You got your tabletop games. You know, you got your uh, pretty cool environment. Dope get your place. coffees get and your stuff coffee. like that. I'm telling you, man. But then we got Street Fighter. The Street Fighter, dog. And uh, we got some stout Houston players who always pop into this. Aziz Sensei, Jan, Joe Lito, 2300, 2D, man. They're all in full force, and they usually come to this. So don't be afraid to pop in. $5 venue, $5 entry. The casual starts 7. The bracket starts at 8 p.m. And it will be live on Twitch to be Oh, yeah, broadcast. we're going to have a stream this week, too. We're going to have the stream back, baby. Nice. So, we in there. So, um, guys, check it out this Thursday. Mm -hmm. And uh, Friday, uh, Grind Break Cafe. And U of H. And U of H, yes. Both of these boys will be doing, like, the same format. Bring your friends. Bring your consoles. Anything goes. You know, and then with Grind Break after a while, if there's enough people there after hours, they're definitely down to throw a tournament. So if we're doing Vampire Saviors, if we're doing Def Jam's Battle for New York. I'm telling you, dog. And <laughs> we in there. I'm telling you. And UH, uh, it's the same deal, man, and it's free. So bring your consoles, man. Bring uh, whatever game you feel like. And also, you know, if there's a new game that you just, you know, don't happen to know about, and be open. Try it. See exactly, if you like guys. it, dog. Like, you never know what you're going to end up liking. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be like, let's play anything. Vampire Saviors. I keep drawing it out. That's my shit. I mean, man. can we just I'm get, sorry. like, can we just get, like, a, 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 a crowdfund and just get a Vampire Savior to one of these weeklies, please? I just need it. But, Somebody bring it. But don't be afraid to go and find a new game or go and interact with somebody. That's what this thing is for. Get yourself out there. Get some people known. You never know who's in your area or who's in your neighborhood. So that's why this is important. Yep. We're going to chill until Monday. Saturday and Sunday, take the time off. Relieve some of the salt that you may have uh, from the previous weekdays. But coming back on Monday, we got the Bull and Bear free casuals, baby. We got Third Strike, Street Fighter Three, and, of course, Tekken 7. And then over at Senpai's, they actually have a tournament for Tekken 7. So just show up, show them what you're about. If you want a little bit more of a competitive nature and atmosphere, that's what Senpai's is for. If you're trying to sit back, relax, and get some training on with some fellow people, I think that's what the Bull and Bear is more suited for as well. For sure. $5 an entry, guys. So uh, don't forget, Senpai's on Monday along with the Bull and Bear. But, hey, we're going to move on to the Smash side of things. And, of course, you know, people love them since Smash Brothers. So the Go Weekly is pending. Don't have uh, too much information on that. Just stay tuned on, on your Facebook page. Maybe they'll have something. Maybe they won't. But always uh, be on the Facebook page and be on the lookout for Go. Always having those uh, stout weeklies in Houston. But for sure, that's something that's happening. Friday Night Smash. You got doubles at 6, Oof. singles at 7.30. We're going to shut down at 11, depending on how the tournament goes. And, of course, you got $5 venue and then $5 for singles slash doubles. Last Friday Night Smash, pretty stacked. Had a bunch of people come through. You know, we had the out-of-staters. But uh, Friday Night Smash has been, you know, just a cool place to hang out, especially after work. 
after school on a Friday. That's why you boys are up till about 11, right? Got to give you, everybody man. time to get off and get there and relax and have some fun before the night ends. Got to. Nothing on Saturday. Uh, the the Sma Super Smash Fight Club is actually a monthly, but we do have our flagship weekly, which is $5 venue, $5 singles and doubles, OCM house, Smash Fight Club, man. And we're in the, like the one the 160s by now maybe like it's it's you a lot of them. are getting up there in numbers <laughs> it's, it, man it's a lot so doubles at four singles at five and redemption bracket at 6 30 y'all come on down man it's a lot of fun ocm house little a literally a homey environment so come on down man but right now we're gonna get into uh everything the, we had over the weekend oh, yeah, right the meat and potatoes man this is where the, the fun starts stuff. this is why you come the weekly so let's move on to these dope results starting with dragon ball fighters Yo, K.H. Black, the boy has been coming out, doing his thing everywhere he can, has been putting in work, putting in time, showing that the Combat Houston boys ain't nothing to sleep on, taking, not sneaking away with or anything like that. I mean, taking first place over Terry Bogart. Straight up. And Terry Bogart getting a stout second place with uh, Dust on. O2 getting third, uh, one of the Winburn boys, one of the Winburn frequenters. Uh, all three of them actually yeah. uh, practice over at Winburn. So this also shows, guys, that you can definitely come out, play with the best, and eventually end up beating or being the best in the city. For sure, with uh, fourth place being uh, – Stank <laughs> say, Boy 69. Say his name again, dog. Thank you, boy. I mean, he did it. He put the stank on boys <laughs> – Taking fourth place, showing that just because his name is funny don't mean his skills ain't. And they is top notch. I'm telling you, man. In fifth place uh, with Kensu and fifth place uh, Dailing as well. Uh, Kensu, shouts out to him, man. Especially, the, I know that hitbox must work wonders, bro. I want one really, really hey, bad. Hey, man, why do you think he got that fifth place, man? You're top eight somewhere, man. <laughs> Doing it with the box. Got to, man. With uh, seventh place being uh, Lord Z. Uh, Z. Zip. See, this is why I didn't try to pronounce his name. But my man in seventh place, uh, Lord Z, look, look, you holler me in the Facebook comments. I promise you I'll get your name right. But congratulations to you making the top eight in a pretty stacked top eight. And Fedora Mike getting seventh place. We're not going to knock you for not wearing a fedora. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't tell who he was because there was no fedora on this man. It was false advertising, but the only thing that wasn't false was his skills, and it netted him top eight. So congratulations out to him. And congratulations to the rest of the top eight, man. And we hope to see you again at the next Space City for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. But we're going to move on to the next game, dog. My game. Your game. My game. Go ahead. My boy's game. Talk to him. Yo. Talk to him. They got it in his Twitter handle. Tell him. So em. I got to call him by his – True name. Respect it. The great one. Uh huh. Neo X. Yo, let's taking go. It, taking first place. He has been fighting so hard for not only himself, but to also bring everyone else's skill up in Houston. And ain't nothing like looking down from the top. I'm telling you, man. Uh, fighting over there with Dune 2 getting second place. And these two, uh, according to the lore, have been going like back and forth for a while now. Oh, yeah. It even got to a point where Neo had to start picking a different character to try and get a better feel. And you can see that, you know, by, by playing around with different characters, it netted him the actual first place. Definitely. In third place, going to Grimm. Shouts out to him. Big ups. Out of, John, out of town Gaijin over here. Yeah, the Gaijin dog, dude, getting third place, man. And fourth going to Crow and fifth. Fourth going to core, excuse me, and fifth going to crow. Hey, every dog has his day, you know what I'm saying? But this is just an opera. This is a, a moment where people can reflect and be like, hey, anybody can be at the top at any time. Anybody. Especially since you see people like Neo X who used to train under the tutelage of our fourth and fifth places. And they're both Evo champions. Yes. So this shows you that every dog has his day and everybody can have a time to shine. For sure. With the bottom of the top eight rounding out with fifth place in driving, seventh place gun, and seventh place in geometric. So shout out to those guys. Tekken Seven just alive and well in this city. This the Tekken Seven is the game with the most weeklies. It also shows you the most legacy players too. So just a, a little tidbit, Geometric actually trains under Dune too. They both play Xiao Yu. So they train each other up, and Neo, Core, and Crow all trained each other up too. So you can see where having a tight-knit community mm -hmm. really pays off in, in tutelage and in skill. For but sure. nonetheless, all of them performed excellently. Big ups to everybody on this list. Yep, and we hope to see you guys next month. But moving on to the next game, we got Blaze Blue cross-tag battle with first place being Mr. Popoff himself. 
Mr. <laughs> Mr. Got the confirm. I'm screaming. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ray play getting first place. Shout out to him, man. Bringing it back from losers bracket. Oh yeah, man. Everybody thought that our second place finisher, Kid Viper, was definitely gonna take the tournament. Qualified on the winner's side, sitting pretty in grands, observing the competition. And you would think, you know, he would have played a little bit more cautiously with Ray play, but uh, Ray play brought it all the way back. Ugh. I'm telling you, beating a legacy player like Kid Viper, who knows his way around the tag game, period. It's just uh, like, and anime in anime, general. For real. It's just really, really astounding. So, shouts out to Ray Play getting first. Kid Viper with the stout second. Very fought, very hard fight. And Kensu getting third. Really showing his well-roundedness in multiple games. Matter of fact, both him and Neo X. Third and fourth place, respectively, showing just well-roundedness in multiple games. Strong showing from both players, and especially with Kenzo. You know, he labs a lot. He shows people how to play the game. Uh, a lot of his time isn't really dedicated to getting out and participating. So this shows you that even at home, you can still practice and come out and get some tournament results. So big up to Kenzo. Yep, and shouts out to uh, fifth place, uh, respectively, Chozo and Southeast Texas antagonist. Southeast Texas representing, showing uh, love, coming through, uh, playing some Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle with uh, seventh place rounding out to uh, Black Handsome and uh, it's Broccoli. So shouts out. Yeah, so shouts out to everybody uh, who basically, you know, uh, got top eight in that. And also shows that Chozo, you know, he came from playing at our weeklies over at Craft Beer Cellar to come and snatch fifth place. So just showing you once again how important weeklies are when you can get out and form that community, how good it can be. For sure. So uh, we're going to be moving into uh, the last but certainly not least, Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition. First place going out to uh, Houston legend Hamad. That man is just an all-around good fighting game player. We've seen him perform in Guilty Gear on a national level, and then we can see him always trying to snag something here in Houston. And this time, he walked away with the first place finish over Jewel Man. And I tell you, if you guys haven't seen that yet, go to the page. Their VODs should be up and stuff like that. It was a sight to see. But, yes, Hamad did bring it back also from the loser side of the bracket as well. So we had a lot of bracket resets this weekend. For sure. And uh, shouts out to JMC making his way out. I haven't seen him in a really, really long time. But getting third place is showing it. Hey, man, I still got it. And speaking of uh, legacy, we got AJ Tucker getting fourth place. And he has been playing a bit too, but just like JMC, hasn't been getting out as much, but shows you that playing strong at home and knowing your true fundamentals will net you a big pot in the end. For sure. In fifth place with Soldier and PH Juices in seventh, getting Ace Trainer Chris and Enrique says hi. So shout out to all of those guys getting top eight for Street Fighter Five, And we hope to see them again and them at the uh, Coral Sword and Craft Beer Cellar for if they play Street Fighter Five. So uh, shout out to those guys. All right, I think the last thing that we had at Space City Beatdown was, of course, Street Fighter Third. I'm gonna Strike. let you take this one because this is you know I was gonna yeah want I know I knew you were gonna want this so <clears throat> go you got it bro go ahead. So my man, say my it. boy, say it. The biggest, the nastiest oh, of yeah. them all, big nasty, grabbing first place mm. over all the other competition, all the other Houston and out of towners that came down to play. This boy grabbed it again. I've seen him grab second place at other tournaments like, you know, Texas Showdown and grab wins over people like Chris G, who have been arguably one of the better players of this era in Third Strike, and he did it big. Nice. Grabbing nice. first place. Now, uh, second place, uh, no slouch either. Face, a.k.a. Makoto Alex, one of the best Makotos, one of the best players in Third Strike that we have here in Texas, period. Uh, so no, no wonder why. He did get the second place, uh, and then rounding it out for our top three was KD Alpha, another well-known Houstonian doing his thing. So uh, shout-out to the top three. Word, word, word. And fourth place getting uh, Jay Nguyen, and fifth uh, DJ Isco, uh, Gib Crom, and uh, Joe Strikes, and Big Gus rounding it out the top eight. So shout-out to Third Strike. Um, those guys still going still going on in, going strong, dude. So shout-out to them. And now we're going to move on to actually a quick shout out to um the uh the people who went to CEO Otaku. Oh yeah. yeah, we did have some Houstonians that went out uh and particularly for Blaze Blue Cross Tag. 13th was Shinku Hunter, yes, I do uh, believe. 13th going to Shinku Hunter. So shout out to him. The best 
anime player in Houston. The best. So making him Oh, well, there might be an argument when you hear who got higher than him. Oh, you're right. So um, what was that man's name? It was... Um, uh, Sh- uh, Texas Wolf? Give me... Texas Wolf? I'm pretty sure it was Texas Wolf. No, I, you're right. I can say his name better mm-hmm. than that. Let's go. We don't we don't get anyone's name wrong over here. Stray Wolf. Stray Wolf. Stray Wolf taking ninth place, and then there was one more person who got higher than him. Of course, from Houston. Of course, you know he plays the biggins, the walled Tager <laughs> combo. Oh my god! So you already know Jan with that placing at CEO Taku. So shouts out to him, man. Everybody yeah, that went out performed, and thank you for just representing Houston and Texas in general, and also. Stone, shout out to Stone, he uh, got commentator <laughs> he got slash player. <laughs> he got third in SNK heroin. Yes, that's so yes. dope. Sick, sick, that's dude. so cool, dude. I wanted to play that game so bad too. I didn't <laughs> get a chance to, but Stone over here taking third at uh, majors and stuff. So shout out to everybody that went out and did well. If we missed you guys from CEO Taku, sorry, but thank you nonetheless for your service and defending the Texan name. And uh, we're going to, from that, we're going to move on into uh, the results of Super Smash Fight Club 4 at the Cannon in Houston, Texas. We're going to start. Hit us with him. We're going to start with Poking first, right? I got the information. Right? Okay, we're going to start with Poking. The, we're going to start with Poking. All right, so Poking, uh, we got Eclipse getting first, Toasty getting second, Just Jared getting third, Bolimar getting fourth, fifth going to Rorara G and Young Blastoise Main 42. Wonder who he mains. And seventh it's going not Blastoise. To, and seventh going to I, INC Dog Kino and UDL. So shouts out to the Pogan community for coming out here and competing, which is the most it's important. It's good to see them boys going strong. It's, too, the, most, it's the most important thing to, to, to keeping your game, you know, alive. Come out and play. Why it's, not? It, it's so Why basic. Not? Just come out and play. We're going to round out this with some Smash 4 doubles results. So shout out to all the players that came out, showed their stuff. We also want to shout out all the out-of-staters who came. Oh, we had some out-of-state boys? We had some out-of-state boys. I'm going to get their names in the results. So we got Ned and Dark Wizzy winning doubles completely. The number one uh, cloud in Chicago and the top five Mario and Dark Wizzy coming out to Texas. And, Some character uh, diversity there. I got to, man. And and coming out to Texas, showing us what they got, and they were able to beat Best Nest and Diablo. So Diablo coming from Utah, Best Nest, uh, one of the best, best nests nest. <laughs> in, the, in the country. So shout out to those getting second. But the big surprise here is going to be Rozak and LD getting third place. Rozak. Houston's most okay Mario getting third. That's getting self-proclaimed, right? That's self-proclaimed. He yeah. said it. He said it. Right? He said okay. it. Right. I just want to make sure, man. And but what makes it what <laughs> makes his Mario Mario is the fact that this man he feels it. You know, he don't go by frame daddy. He was like, oh, okay, well, oh, that's a dunk. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. It's it's a dunk. So shout out to him and LD. LD always a really good player, especially in doubles, uh, getting third place, followed by El Yoshi and Shadow PR getting fourth. Uh, static team, very, very good. Jumbo and KJ getting fifth. Ouija and old this guy getting fifth, respectively. And then J-Ban and Dagpo, two legacy players getting seventh, rounding out top eight along with Biddy and Jen. So nice, nice. Moving Shout out on, to everybody that topped. So moving on to single. Seventh place, SU's own billionaire Bill Freeman, BC. Hasn't played in the regional in a while either. And this man got top eight, so shouts out to him. So your skill don't die, man. That was the same thing with the FGC side. Speaking of skill don't die, this man, this next dude who made top eight, actually hasn't been in a regional in a year. Damn. Hasn't competed in a year. I'm talking about Gone the, from the scene. The Lux menu. This man got seventh place with Bowser, knocking Dark Wizzy out of the tournament to secure a top eight spot. So mm-hmm. shouts out to him. John Belias, you want to put a player on the most improved list? For for the game in general, put Jumbalias on this list. This man was going one and two with Bowser at one point, two and two with Bowser, and now with the Ryu, this man is top eighting at regionals. This is a man who beat Larry Lur. Sometimes a character switch is necessary, man. Got to have it, man. K 9s Bruce uh, going to be hitting that fifth place as well. Uh, shouts out to him from coming out from Arizona. Very very good player. Very very nice man. Very very good person. Now, <laughs> very definitely good de- guy. Yeah, very very good guy. So don't get that misconstrued ever. So Ned getting fourth place. Uh, very strong. Uh, top eight play this man cheese somebody with zero suit sandwich it was the funniest thing i've seen all night because i he he picked he specifically 
picked her because he was like, okay, I'm going town city. All right, well, I can cheese this man off the top. So zero through Sam. Off the top rope. So you got to do what you got to do, he man. He was gone. Now we got Shadow PR, one of Houston's favorites, getting third place. He keeps doing very well in these. So at the first Super SFC, he got top eight. And the next one, he got like top four. And now here. He, third place. Third place. Third place victory. And that circle, the third, the three boys. And he's getting he's getting closer and closer and closer. So watch out for him uh, in the big event happening in November, because he might he might be coming for you guys big time. So, but speaking of like you know placings, I I I don't want to say that this man is cursed, but mm, I, I know who you're talking about. I, I don't want to. And the fact that UFGC and you know who I'm talking about, it's just like <laughs> yo, this that has to come to a stop. Elegant. Hell of a showing, as he always does. This man is just tearing through his opponents all the time. But the first place ever eludes him. Second place this event for Super SFC for for a third time. For a third time getting second God, place. God, that has to be heartbreaking. This is, this is like, you should be proud, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I keep coming in top three. Consistent, right? That's yeah. consistency. But, like, when your consistency stops yeah. at one placing, just two, two, two. Uh, we have a couple this people is, who who have gone through that in FGC terribly. This is this is gonna come to a head, man. I feel like this man is gonna he's gonna capture one of these. He he goes out of you know outside of Texas. He does amazing, but like when he comes here, it's just like you know it it comes to a fault. Like he just gets second place, and I I don't want to say he's cursed. He's not cursed. He's not cursed, right? He's definitely gonna win one of these. But for now, definitely won, getting right? getting getting second place uh, after after he reset from still losers. a respectable showing. Very very, very respectable. respectable. Very very respectable. The man is too good, and of course, best Ness winning the tournament, showing us really what Ness can do. Because this man was all over the place. It was just amazing to name for what he does best. Yeah, and it was Ness. just amazing to see this man play. This man was just throwing shots. He was on fire. And we appreciate his time and coming out, bro. I hope you come out again. And I hope everybody who was involved in this tournament uh, is able to find your way out here for the next couple of events that we got going on because you certainly don't want to miss them, right? Nice. But uh, that's basically that's that's all we got. That's we've all covered got. Space City. We covered we've Space covered City, yeah. CEO Taku. Oh, yeah. And we've covered the Smash. Yeah, we covered Super Smash Brothers. Yes, sir. I think. I think we're at the end of our road, guys. I think we're at the end of the road for the weekly bracket, but uh, appreciate it. You guys come through next week. We'll be giving you more updates as they come. But, guys, support your weekly guys. Go out. These results today have shown nothing but going out to your weekly, getting consistent practice will net you the tournament results that you're looking for. Telling First you, place finishers, second place finishers, people who have never top eighted before, things of that nature. Going out, getting this practice helps – do it. Support it. We'll support you. You support us. I think we can all do this together. Right? I'm telling you, man. Right, you, guys, you guys are the engine that drives that drives us. So come out to your weeklies, man. We love you all, and we love the support that we get. And you give us support, we'll give you support, man. And that's how this works, baby. But we're going to go ahead and send this out of here. I'm Banjo. Chaos Overdrive. And this has been the Weekly Bracket. And before you cut that camera, if you're looking at Bowsed pictures on the Internet, on Twitter, you're wrong. You're wrong. Now you can cut it. Wrong, guys. Now you can cut it.